All right, welcome back everybody. We're going to do a pod review today on the pepper right here. And this is called the Red Starfish, I believe it's called, or the Brazilian Star. Uh, but it's the red version. So there's like a red, there's a yellow, and I think, believe it or not, there's actually a cream version of the Brazilian Starfish. So if I come across that one, I will definitely pick it up and do a review on it. But this is for the red one, so let's take a look at it on the plant. It's the end of the year, so the plants are all losing their leaves. And that is the Brazilian Star. They got really nice flat shapes. Now, I did do a review on this, I think, last year. But I want to revisit this video and reshoot it. And uh, just give it a second try this year and really really see if the heat picked up on it or not. And I don't remember. I remember I had to reshoot the video because I wasn't pleased with the um, Scovy units, I think, on it. So I think I needed to... Uh, get a little hotter. So, I don't know. We'll pick one of these. I'm trying, looking for one that's a little more ripe. And I got a cat here. It's crying out there. This one's about as ripe as you're going to get. All right. That's it right there, guys. That is the Brazilian starfish. I'm going to winter this plant over, too, by the way. Next year, we're going to bring this out into the garden, and uh, we're going to grow it outdoors. And these, this particular variety of pepper can get quite productive. It can put out dozens, if not hundreds, of these pods. Since they're in a pot this year, I have to proof the pepper to make sure it is what I ordered. And then once I know it's definitely that plant, I winter it over, and then I plant it out in the garden the following year. And that's when we go for the production. But this year, we have to proof the uh, seed to make sure it's correct. So that's what it looks like. Nice and flat looking like that. It's a real nice little pepper here. So let's see if it's any different than last year, and uh, let's give it a go. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to do a pod review today on this pepper right here, and this pepper is called the Brazilian Starfish. I, I'm not sure if they go by Red Brazilian Star. There's a couple different colors out there. There's an orange, I believe. There's a yellow version, and there may even actually be a cream version, but this is going to be for the red version, so I just want to give you a good look at that. Show you this gorgeous looking pod here. And nice and flat. Got a little little like feet on it almost on the edges. But that's a wonderful pepper, guys. So uh, let's give that a go and see what it tastes like. Nice and sweet. Wow. A lot better than last year. There's absolutely no heat on this pepper where I just bit it. However, I could take a bite over here, and I think it'd be scorching hot. That's the way bacadums are. They, they, the heat seems to develop in patches on the pepper, so there's no guarantee that it's always going to be uh, sweet, per se. So, like I say, it could be sweet here, but the other side of the pepper could be absolutely scorching hot, or even the next bite right next to it. It's really strange. There's absolutely no heat on this thing at all. And I'm, you know, eating it basically by the seeds. Wow, that's really bizarre. Not not even a slightest bit of heat. This is an absolutely sweet pepper. I don't know what's going on. I just ate that whole pepper. Not one inch of heat on it. Not one inch. Absolutely sweet. I don't know. I'll have to see what the other peppers are. I may have to list this. Um, no heat Brazilian star. It's not supposed, it's supposed to be a hot pepper. But this one had absolutely no heat on it at all. I just ate the whole thing. It was quite sweet too. Now, keep in mind that the heat generally on a Brazilian star is not very high to begin with. They can range from like almost sweet or sweet even uh, to like, um, I think it's like, it only is really as much as maybe a thousand. Uh, but that's really not that high at all. So even the, the normal heat r ranges for these starfish peppers are generally pretty low. So this particular one happened to be sweet, but they do have heat on them. Now, if I eat the rest of those and they have no heat on them, well, then I'll just list it as a sweet Brazilian starfish. But uh, this particular pepper had no heat. So let's talk about the flavor of this pepper a little. Um, this particular one, it was very sweet and almost had like a fruity type flavor. Not habanero fruity, but like a like a type of a fruit, maybe, um, I don't know, not really peach flavor, maybe like a cherry flavor or apple-ish kind of, but not really too apple-y. It had a nice sweet flavor to it. 
very it was very sweet it had a not just like sweet like it had like a sugary type of sweetness almost like a higher high not high fructose like high fructose corn syrup that's not what's in peppers but it was like a higher form of fructose it was a very rich sweet fructose flavor and it was very sweet but as you probably know fructose sugars when you eat them they're not like eating cane sugar when you eat fructose sugars, they're very short-lived. They come in, they, they give you like a sense of sweetness, and they disappear. It's almost like a stevia. If you've ever eaten stevia, that kind of sweetness is very similar to that. It's not a honey type of sweet or a sugar type of sweet or cane sugar sweetness. Fru pure fructose, pure fructose from fruits, that, that sugar is a very short-lived experience. And that's pretty much what I picked up in here. It's a, got a bunch of sweetness, and then it just dissipates very quickly. Uh, I believe that particular sugar, the, the fructose sugars, natural fructose sugars in fruits and vegetables, if I'm not mistaken, those sugars generally don't affect your um, the glycemic levels in your blood. So if you're somebody who's got diabetes, you can eat apples and stuff like that. You just can't overeat them, but you can eat apples without it affecting your, your blood sugar. So it's... There's, and that's the reason why. It's a very light type of sugar. It doesn't cause your pancreas to start to pump out insulin and cortisol and hypodrenian or adrenal gland fluids. You're not, you're not offsetting your blood. You're not creating a whole chemistry thing. So these type of sugars are generally uh, very uh, short, quick, and short-lived type sugars. But they're good too. And they, they come, they go, they do their thing, and you taste it, and then they kind of just uh, dissipate really quickly. As far as the flavor of it goes, uh, it's hard to say. It was this particular one was kind of like anum flavored. It didn't really taste bacadum flavored to me. It, it is a bacadum, if I'm not mistaken. It's a bacadum, but I don't remember what the flower looks like. I'm pretty confident that this is a bacadum. Didn't really have that typical bacadum flavor, and it, it it was just it was just a it did have a fruity flavor but it didn't have like that bacadum type of fruitiness if you don't know what a bacadum is you have to eat a bacadum to understand what i'm talking about but it didn't quite have that bacadum flavor it was more like almost like an uh, a sweet bell pepper if you were to put it in the flavor area kind of tastes like a sweet kind of uh, bell pepper slight type flavor it didn't exactly taste like that but it was like going in that region of flavor and um it, it was it was basically um it had like a fruitiness and the flavors came and gone quickly it didn't really last at all no heat on it again so i didn't really get any soapiness or or, or strong capsaicin flavors or anything it was very short-lived and uh it's definitely an interesting flavored pepper definitely different than last year so um in a way i'm kind of disappointed because i wanted to heat but you know i could i guess i could live without the heat i guess but um, it's nice alternative. I mean, I do. I know that the uh, other bag of uh, seeds that I got for this pepper is definitely got some heat on it. I'm, I'm, this is going to be like a sweet version, I guess. If I eat the rest of those peppers and they're all sweet, well, then it would have to be classified as a sweet pepper. So far, there's no heat on them. But anyway, guys, that's really it. I'm not sure what else to say about the uh, Brazilian starfish, the red version of it. Um, whatever information I get on a Brazilian star, I will leave in the uh, description below. And I'll leave a link in the description below where it'll take you over to the website and you can buy the seeds for yourself if you want to give this particular variety of Brazilian starfish a go, the sweet version. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.